All right, so let's say you've already captured some emails, you have like 100 email subscribers, and now you wanna send out a weekly newsletter, um, sending them to your blog article or to your YouTube video, or you wanna have like, or if you have a product that you wanna promote, um, I'm gonna show you how to send out an email campaign or an email newsletter. It's basically the same thing here. So um, we go back to the dashboard, so we click on, on the top left button here, uh, remember, if you want to activate your workflow, you have to click on activate the workflow. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And now we see it's active. Okay. So now I'm going to go back, click on the, uh, the logo, and I'm back in my dashboard. Uh, the way I set up my email campaign is to go to the left here and click on email. Then you see I don't already have any email campaign. So I'm going to create a new email campaign by clicking on create an email campaign. Now you wanna give the campaign a name. So for me, I'm just gonna um, type in newsletter. And the subject line is maybe um, what I've been doing this week, just as an example. And then again, you wanna choose the email address you wanna send it from and your name that should appear um, in the email inbox of your subscribers. Then you click next step. And you have the same options here um, with your template emails, you have the drag and drop editor or the rich text editor. So I'm just gonna show you the rich text editor right here. So it's just a very simple text editor here. So you can type in whatever you want to. Hi there, um, how are you? And you can also add links. So if you wanna put in a link, you can just type in whatever the link should say, or maybe something like click here to read my blog article and then you want to um, actually make this a link so we can highlight it and click on this icon here and then just type in the url inside of the url button url um, bracket here so i'm just going to type in google and then this one will be a hyperlink so that's how you can um, write your email all right, so let's say this email is finished now. So we click save. And then um, again, you have like a preview of your email. So this is what it looks like on desktop. This is what it looks like on mobile. And what I recommend is to actually send out a test email um, to your own email account so that you can see how it looks like inside of your email inbox. That way you can also check if maybe it goes to the spam folder. So you wanna maybe change some things inside of your email that will trigger um, the email going to spam. The way you do that is by going to send a test on the top right. And then you type in the email that you want to have the test sent to. And then you just click send test and you will get the email. Um, once you've done that and everything's fine, just click on next step. And then we have to decide what list, um, what email addresses that um, email should go to. So um, let's say uh, I have a list called YouTube subscribers that has like three contacts. So I'm going to choose uh, this list right here. And um, that's all the people I want to send this one to. So I just, just, I just choose this list and then I click on next step. Okay, so there's like an overview of what I'm going to be sending, who I'm going to be sending it to. And once everything looks good, I'm going to click schedule on the top right. Now I have the possibility to send it now or I can schedule it. If you want to have the best time, um, which is basically an option where Send and Blue analyzes when people are actually reading emails so that you have a higher open rate. But you need to have um, a paid plan in order to use that feature. So we can now use it, simply use the schedule feature or the send it now feature. Um, and again, that's self-explanatory. So let's say I want to send it now. So I'm just gonna click on continue and then you have to confirm again. And now the email is sent to those people inside of that list. So once your email is sent, what you can also do is check the statistics of your email. So you can check how many people opened the email, how many people clicked any links in the email. And the way you do that is by going to the left and click on statistics. And that's where you see like the, the number of people that got the email, the number of people had, that have opened the email, the number of clicks, the number of people that have unsubscribed offer of opening an email 
and like complaints, bounces and all that kind of stuff, it, which is basically just a simple statistics of an email marketing software that you can see here in the statistics. And it's very clean here, it's very easy to check. Um, so once in a while it makes sense to just check your statistics, see what emails work, what, e what emails don't work, and you want to keep optimizing the emails that you send out to your email subscribers.